guy could win a Bob Marley lookalike contest. It's great. <laughs> Do some political jokes. Did you guys see Hillary Clinton's most recent speech? It was hilarious. She took a page right out of Bill Clinton's book. She was like, I did not have financial relations with any of those financial institutions. <laughs> you might like this next one. Did you hear about the Donald Trump stamp? Anybody? Donald Trump stamp? They're having problems producing this thing because nobody knows what side to spit on. <laughs> the, the Republicans give me the most... All right. <laughs> Glad I'm recording this. <laughs> the Republicans give me the most amount of entertainment, right? Because like a month ago they were talking about their dick size. You guys see this stuff? <laughs> Trump was like, I got the biggest dick. And I gonna get Mexico to build it for me. <laughs> no, but it was funny. They were talking about their dick size like the day after the last black guy was out of the race. They're like, all right. <laughs> Time to talk about our dicks, everybody. No more black guys. <laughs> Who else can I do a joke about? What, uh, what other candidates left? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which candidate is old and wrinkly and probably smells funny and definitely is not getting my vote in November? Anybody want to guess? Who is it? Hillary's pussy. All right, let's move on. It was, uh, you know, I don't want to confuse you guys. No, I'm not the love child of Danny Bonaducci. I love Lucy Raggedy Ann, Ronald McDonald, Kenny Powers, and Carrot Top. That's not me, guys. That's not me. I was in Southern California. Somebody tapped me on the shoulder. He goes, hey, buddy. Biodome sucked. I looked up. It was, it was Pauly Shore. I was like, Pauly. I got Carrot Top a lot as a kid. And my mom reminded me to tell the kids on the playground that the tops of carrots are green. They're not red. They're not orange. And that's where the term get beat up like a redhead step out comes from. You know, uh, yeah, beat up a lot. I told that story to a gay comedian friend of mine. You know, he said to me, he goes, mm -mm. I wouldn't make you a carrot top. Mm -mm. He shook his head like he said, mm -mm. I'd make you a carrot bottom. Mm -mm. Like, what the fuck? But that's the part of the carrot I look like. You know the bottom part. <laughs> a lady winked at me one time, and ladies never wink at the Lucky Charms Leprechaun. That shit never happens. But I thought that was like the pot of gold at the end of the shitty ginger rainbow of life, you know? So I sat next to this lady. She goes, oh my God, I love your hair. I'm in love with your hair. I'm a hairdresser. I love your hair. And just to remind you, ladies... The curlies are for the girlies. That's true. It's cheesy. <laughs> I sat down next to her. She was putting her fingers in my curls. I was like, hell yeah. I was like, bartender, two shots right here. Red-headed sluts. I wanted to be one that night. You know, I was, take these shots. Took the shots. She goes, you remind me of somebody famous. I remember who you remind me of. You remind me of Richard Simmons. <laughs> I was wearing a lot of spandex that night, though, guys. I was... Hello! Sweating the oldies and shit. It's fun. You know, I'm from the Midwest. I love Santa Cruz, though. It's great, man. Come out the greener pastures out here. Take a guess. Yeah, I love it out here, man. But, you know, like, even in the Midwest, even the most racist people, you know, they drop the N-bomb all the time. The craziest stuff. They say the craziest things. At least they look around before so they say some crazy-ass shit, you know? But... Here's what I'm here to gripe about. Nobody even looks around before they start dropping ginger. That's fucked up, you know, like calling a redhead a ginger. It's messed up. I, I don't really think it's the, the word itself. I think it's the hard R that gets me. You know, it's like the, where's this ginger over here? They don't even look around, you know, it's fucked up. Let's get this right. If you're gonna call a redhead a ginger, you better put an A on the back of that shit. That's my ginger. Only we can call each other that shit, too. Let's, let's get that clear. Let's get that clear. Uh, I get real high. Duh. All right, let's move on. I read a preview for this TV show, uh, Ice Road Truckers. You guys ever seen Ice Road Truckers? Anybody? All right, yeah, I read a preview and I saw the show. I was confused because I know that ice is a street slang term for methamphetamine. So when I turned on Ice Road Truckers, I thought I was going to see Meth Road Truckers, and that shit would be hilarious. 
Someone behind the wheel, the 18 wheel grinding the shit out of the We gotta get 600 miles. We got two hours to get there. Let's do this shit. It's a high idea. Here's another high idea. That's what I call my high ideas, you know, because I'm a lazy stoner. I, uh, I love Vietnamese food, but there's no Vietnamese places open after midnight, you know, so it's like somebody needs to open up a Vietnamese restaurant that never closes, call it 20 foe 7 right? Right? You buy a weed, you buy a weed right next door at the foe 20 dispensary because you're in the Vietnamese part of town, right, California? It's like three applause breaks. You guys are making my dreams come true. Actually, I have a Vietnamese friend because that's what I need for this joke. And, and he said to me, he goes, Hey, dumb white boy, it's not pronounced pho, it's pronounced pho, right? I was like, ah, oh, I'm high as pho. Sorry, shit. Here's another high idea. You guys think of pine trees drove cars? If pine trees drove cars, get on board, lady. If pine trees drove cars, they'd have a little air freshener shaped like people, smell like B.O., what do you think? Idea. How about when zebras take a shit? It's gotta it's got look like that soft serve swirl twist ice cream, right? You know, like, Idea. Here's an idea, great, uh, Santa Cruz, you guys might like this idea. Um, do you guys know what they call the Grateful Dead, the Grateful Dead? I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm 32 years old. I gave the Grateful Dead a chance. I listened to the Grateful Dead. I only listened to one song one time, and 18 hours later, I was like, <laughs> I realized some things. I don't know exactly a lot about the Grateful Dead. I know why they call them the Grateful Dead. Anybody? Why? why? Good, thank you. Because you'll be grateful when you're dead, so you don't got to listen to that shitty music. It just goes on forever. It's like acid, the worst drug ever. Um, all right, uh, let's see. I want to I wanna tell you guys one more story, and then I'm going to get out of here. You guys got a lot of great comics tonight, you know? Give it up for yourselves coming out on Sunday and supporting the best comedy show in Santa Cruz. This is my first time up here, and you guys are making this dream, dream come true, so thank you very much. Um, but I want to get raunchy with you guys for a minute. Can I get raunchy with you guys for a minute? Is that all right? Is that all right? Do you guys know who Kate Hudson is? Yeah? If you don't know who Kate Hudson is, you can exchange her for Taylor Swift in this joke. <laughs> what? I'll explain. Because to me, those two are like the same basic bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't call a woman a bitch. I think it's the wrong thing to do. But they are basic bitches, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys know the exact type of chick that I'm talking about, right? You know, like, yeah, yeah, the one that wears yoga pants all the time and fucking Ugg boots and a headband even though it ain't cold outside. You know, you know who I'm talking about, right? You know? She drinks Cosmos and buys all of her clothes brand new at Forever 21 and listens to Drake. Right. If you were a basic bitch, sir, you would know who Drake was. All my friends want to fuck Kate Hudson. I don't want to fuck Kate Hudson. I don't want to fuck a basic bitch. You know, like, it's not my type. I want to fuck Lady Gaga. Anybody? Anybody on my team there? Where are my Lady Gaga people at? Where are my monsters at? Yeah! Ah! was the head vampire chick in American Horror Story this year. She was slicing her titty open, having people suck on this shit like, yeah. You were born this way. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh. Lady Gaga gets me going. I don't want to fuck Kate Hudson. I don't want to fuck Lady Gaga, mainly because I'm pretty sure Kate Hudson fucks like this. This is all she does. She, she lays down. She's a basic bitch. You know, she, she's Lays down, she does missionary, legs all up in the air, looks at you all nervous, like, Don't come in my hair! Don't touch 
catch my brown starfish now. <laughs> I don't want to fuck a chick like that. I want to fuck Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga want to fuck you like this. She got bent over. She'd be like, yeah. She would spin her ass cheeks over. She'd be like, yeah. Ooh. Stare me in my intestines. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, I want to take a ride on your disco stick. Yeah. Ooh. Show me some of that bad romance. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> every every time every time I see Lady Gaga, like the mad the madness comes over me, you know, like I, oh man, you know, I, Lady Gaga, you know, like, oh, 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 ooh yeah, Lady Gaga, yeah, ooh yeah. Lady Gaga, I tell you what, Lady Gaga, I'm gonna snap at you like a slim jim. Ooh, yeah, I tell you what, it's the WrestleMania main event tonight, Lady Gaga. And you're looking at the madness. Ooh, yeah. You're gonna get it straight from the top. Elbow drop. One, two, three. I'm the madness and you're not. Ooh, yeah. I don't know what it is about Lady Gaga. She gets me going. My name is Mikey G. Thanks. What the fuck just happened?